Hey guys, Andy here, and today just want to do a little raw vlogy vlog here on the Andy Japandi channel to commemorate the 10 year anniversary of the death of one of my YouTube heroes, the late, forever great Roger Swan. So, those who don't know who Roger Swan was, he was one of the um, what I like to consider one of the original J vloggers from way back in the day. Um, before he came out to Japan, a lot of them, a lot of people knew him from um, like uh, horror, like J horror reviews that he would put up on his channel. And uh, he got accepted to study abroad at Keio University out here in Tokyo back in 2007. So it's been <laughs> quite the time. And during that time, he made a little series of videos on a small little, little website you might know of as YouTube. And the series was called Tokyo Swan. And it was highly inspired by another one of my YouTube heroes, Tokyo Kuni. And uh, Roger made a series of videos to kind of show people around the local Tokyo area show people what uh, life is like as a college student in Tokyo, going to one of the most prestigious universities out here in Tokyo. Keio is often considered probably like the second, sometimes number one university. It kind of goes neck and neck with uh, Todai, or Tokyo University, and uh, Waseda as well. So Keio is it's like basically going to Harvard or Yale or Stanford <laughs> uh, for, for my... Uh, fellow Mercogen audience. And uh, yeah, while well, Roger's out here, made a whole series of videos called Tokyo Swan. Definitely recommend you guys check them out. And granted, keep in mind, this is like over 10 years ago, so obviously it's not in super high def 4K. It's not even in like 720p. It's I think still in like 480, 240, something like that. It's pretty low res, but it was kind of the resolution of the time. So uh, just keep that in mind <laughs> but I still think those videos hold up man because the one thing that I admired the most about Roger was his relatability and the connection he had with his audience and for me you know we're both uh, got family out in Michigan he's on uh, Bow Creek Kalamazoo side uh, later on I went to Western Michigan University the same university he went to and uh, <clears throat> but he's got family on one side of the mitt, and I got family on the other. So in a lot of ways, we related through that, and I you know, I remember corresponding with him a lot in the YouTube comments, and we'd send emails and stuff back and forth. You know, I'd always ask him about the music he would use in his videos, because this is pretty new for the time. Uh, it wasn't until fairly recently that people started doing this, but like he had a buddy of his who would make his own music. So he wouldn't have to worry about using copyrighted music or any of the other stuff. It was all like his buddy made him little, you know, incidental pieces of music and stuff. So all the music you'd hear in Tokyo Swan and later on Iwate Swan was all stuff his buddy made. And it's just uh, pretty crazy to think like how far ahead Roger was in, uh, in those terms. But uh, yeah, he made the Tokyo Swan series during his time out here in Tokyo when he was a, an exchange student out at KO. And uh, when his time was up, he went back to, to Kalamazoo, Michigan to uh, finish up his degree at Western Michigan. And once he was all finished up with that, he applied to the JET program and got accepted and went to go teach at a school uh, out in Hanamaki, which is in Iwateken, Iwate Prefecture, which uh, was, uh, for those who don't know, later on became one of the most affected areas from the 311 typhoon earthquake and uh, a lot of buildings and stuff were lost out there um, but during Roger's time he resumed the uh, the Swan series um, but renamed it Iwate Swan to reflect the uh, the new area and I think that even though his uh, Tokyo Swan series I like the most just because it's of familiar territory um, I really do enjoy his Iwate Swan series as well because I feel like that's when he really started coming into his own as a YouTuber, filmmaker, 
video content creator whatever buzzword you want to use to describe him but I think he really came into his own with that series and you could see a lot of uh, growth in terms of video production you got a better camera so uh, the scenery was a lot clearer I mean granted it's still 480p but still it's better than 240 literally twice as better <laughs> but yeah, with that series, he was continuing on from where uh, Tokyo Swan left off. And uh, sadly, uh, on this day, uh, January 27th, 2010, so on this day, 10 years ago, uh, Roger Swan passed away from acute pancreatitis. I don't know all the details, but basically um, one of his friends was visiting from Korea and they were hanging out and making vids and stuff, which later got put up on uh, Roger's YouTube channel. He made uh, three videos before he passed. Uh, they later got edited by his friends and put up on the channel. And uh, I guess just he had like a sudden flare up or something and uh, that's how he passed. So it was just such a sudden thing, you know, and it was, you know, Roger's death was one of the first that really impacted me as a person, you know, because, you know, when I thought of death, I thought of it as, like, older people, you know, like, old folks die, and, you know, people with diseases die, but Roger's death was just sudden, out of nowhere, you know, and the, the lesson that Roger's death taught me the most was to value life in the moment, because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. And a lot of my decisions and stuff, you know, even my desire to come back to Japan is based on that. Because, you know, I'm 34 right now, you know, even though I don't sound it, <clears throat> for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty healthy. But you never know. I could get hit, hit by a bus tomorrow. And uh, that's, that's it for the old Andy San San Modesta. So I want to carry on that spirit of Rogers that you know, love for life and uh, that lust for exploration and pushing yourself to learn new things and to constantly be growing. You know, I want to continue that spirit on. And I like to say I've, I've done that in these, uh, these past 10 years. I've really grown as a person and really have improved my station in life, certainly. And you know, I've been on YouTube long enough for you guys to actually literally go back to the videos I made 10 plus years ago and see where I was at that time. You know, at the time I was uh, freshly dropped out from college, didn't have any direction in life, living with my parents, trying to find a job in the midst of the American recession. And I just had no direction in life. And it wasn't until a little bit later when I decided to to join the Navy and honestly I didn't think it at the time but it was the best decision I've ever made in my life it got me out of nowhere Mercer County Ohio out into all over the literally all over the world and honestly guys if it wasn't for the Navy <laughs> there'd be no chance in hell of me being here in Tokyo Japan or even me being in Japan at all during my first run when I was stationed out in Yokosuka. But, you know, if it wasn't for the Navy and the GI Bill, I wouldn't be here, you know. And I have to think about all that. And, you know, I, I'd like to think that part of my reason to join the Navy was, you know, part and due to, to Roger's death, you know. Like, his death had such an impact on everybody especially during that time and for me especially it really brought forth this whole like we're not guaranteed tomorrow and even though we're really young I mean shit, Roger died when he was 23 that's way too young to die you know and the thing is we're not guaranteed tomorrow so we got to you know if we have any dreams goals passions got to do it do it now so that's the attitude I've carried with me throughout my life and uh, you know I'd say it's overall served me very well Had a lot of bumps in the road as you guys know 
but uh, overall, really happy with uh, pushing forward with that vision, thanks to Roger. So, yeah, 10 years, man, a lot can happen. So, you know, as you guys know, I end all my videos with, we'll see you next time. And that's 100% in tribute to Roger and just the impact that he's had on my life. So, why break from tradition, right? So, with all of that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Signed for now here in Nakano, Tokyo, Japan. Thank you guys for tuning in to the ramblings and ravings of <laughs> J Vlog Addict and uh, for watching my other stuff. And be sure to check out Roger's stuff as well. Um, it's a bit dated, but uh, I still think the, uh, the spirit holds up. And as always, and as Roger would say, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. And we sure to do the old end card wave as well. So, question of the day. If any of you guys have watched Roger's videos, uh, which one's your favorite and why? Uh, for me, it'd probably have to be Real Life Shenmue. That uh, really showed me around Yokosuka and kind of gave me an idea of what to expect. <laughs> Alright, bye.